Hi there everyone, uh, we're taking a look this week at five things that Jesus said. These little sound bites, these little catchphrases. Yesterday was, I am the bread of life. Today, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Now, our world is full of darkness. We all know that. We all experience that. We see it in our own lives. We see it around us. We see it day to day. We see it in the news. There's a lot of darkness in our world. It's all around us. But the Bible goes a step further. Jesus goes a step further and he says to us, we don't just know that there's darkness in our world. We don't just see it and experience it. We also love it. We love the darkness, the darkness of greed, the darkness of uh, prejudice, of judgmentalism, the darkness of pride. The darkness of, of selfishness. Actually, we, we love this darkness. But wonderfully, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. You see, Jesus has come into the world to shine a light into our dark world. And, and what does he show us? Well, he exposes our darkness. His light shows us the darkness in our own lives and our own hearts. His, his light also wonderfully doesn't just show us the darkness of our lives, but it shows us the God who made us. Now there's a problem because when we see the God who made us, we see that he cannot tolerate darkness, that spiritual, religious, moral, ethical darkness. But wonderfully, Jesus, the light of the world, shines a light on God's plan for us, God's plan to bring about our forgiveness. God's plan to bring us back to him, to, to reconcile us to him. So we don't just see our darkness and see the God who is against that darkness, but see the God who in love has sent his son so that we can be made right with him. Now, how does light work? Well, you go into a dark room, don't you? you can't see anything, uh, and you switch a light on, uh, and then you you look at the light, don't you? And more importantly than that, you don't look at the light, you look at what the light shows you. Now, Jesus, the light of the world, is showing you some stuff. He wants to show you things about yourself and he wants to show you things about God. He wants to illuminate things for you. Are you going to look seriously at what Jesus, the light of the world, is showing you today.